Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Favar Links walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at how to upgrade uh, Kaspersky Endpoint Security 10 to 11. Um, I've already downloaded Kaspersky 11 setup and the people who know um, how to download it, it's good. Uh, people who don't know how to download this, you need to go to support.kaspersky.com. You'll go to for business and you have Kaspersky endpoint security over here for 11 version. And you see you have downloads and info. You can just simply go to files and you have 256 encryption. Kaspersky Endpoint Security. I have already downloaded it. So what we are going to do is we are going to use this setup file over here, which I already have. We are going to double click on this to run it because we need to extract the files. So the first step is to extract the files and I'm going to extract it on the desktop, but not like this, maybe yes, 11. And unpack it to a folder. I already have a video uh, which is about how to upgrade Kaspersky endpoint security through um, Security Center, but some of our viewers they requested that they want to see how to upgrade it to Kaspersky endpoint security 11. So today we are going to look at how to create the package for it and how we can push it to client machines. So we'll just wait for this to complete. Um, it's finished. I'll open my security center now. And as you know, we need to go to advanced remote installation, case installation packages, and we just need to create installation package. We'll select create installation package for a Kaspersky lab application. I'll name it Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11. Whatever you name it, it's up to you. And then I would need to select this KUD file from here and say, okay, I'm not going to copy copy updates uh, from repository to installation package. And I'll say next, I'll accept the terms and condition license. I'll click next and we'll just wait for this to get finished. So, it is trying to install Kaspersky Endpoint Security. Plugin is already installed because we have created the package. We'll just finish because we have created, because we have created the package, it has also installed a plugin for Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11. And if you look over here, it's there. Endpoint Security 11, what we can do is we can create a task over here um, to install it, or we can simply um, select the package from here in my deployments, and I can simply install it on any of the groups over there, um, like this. So, but I sometimes prefer to do it in this way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a task over here, and this task is actually for installation of a uh, application remotely. So I'll say next, and I want to install Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11. And I would go with the same agent. I don't want to because my agent is already installed and I'm not going to upgrade it. So I'm going to say next, next, and I'll uh, keep these things as default. Uh, I'm not going to give any credentials over here because I already have agent installed over there. I'll say next and I'll say run it once and run my task and I'll say next and install KES 11 and I'll say run task after visit finishes. So if you look over here, we have created the task of a misspell install, install a Kaspersky endpoint security 11 and we'll wait for this task to complete uh, on this machine. 
why I prefer to install it in this way, like I create a task over here on a group. Now, if I have new devices, which I would like to move it in over here, and I would like to install Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11 on this, uh, on those machines, what I can simply do is I can just drag and drop or somehow move those devices to this group. And then this task will automatically start running on those devices. So it's kind of a trick for you. Um, so if you would like to make your life easy, you can do this also. And it helps you to do large installation of Kaspersky um, in enterprise uh, corporate sector. So a task is running. So let's see what is the status of this task. Uh, let's see. So it started, I'll pause this video over here and then we'll come back once this task is completed or about to complete. So just to show you right now, we all have, we have Kaspersky Endpoint Security 10 installed on this computer if you look over here. So let's wait for this task to get completed and we'll see um, it would turn to version 11. So if you look over here now, our task is completed almost we'll just refresh it and as you can see now the task is completed and it's just waiting for restart so if you come over here you see we have restart um, message appearing over here we'll just restart this machine So my machine is restarted. Now I'm going to log into this machine. Now, if you look over here on this Kaspersky endpoint security, the version is 11.0.06499. And if we go back to our application server, we just need to wait for it to sync or we'll just do poor synchronization and it would take some time to refresh itself. Bear in mind, you need to create policies according to this version. Right now, we don't have policies for Kaspersky Endpoint Security version 11. Same way you need to create tasks also. I really want to show you the console of 11. It's totally different console and it's look very cool. So if you look over here, settings and all right now, if you see everything is like, I'm not joined to security center because I have not created any policy for it. So I would need to create the policy and tasks according to Kaspersky and Security 11. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I'm talking about.